it started with just the fact of trying to do something or creating an alliance between clubs on the campus of LA Trade Tech College. We decided to do it with hemp because it's sustainable. We tried to figure out a name or what we're gonna call this collaboration and it is called Sustainable Culture. We have a fashion club and we have a hemp alliance club as well. And those two clubs came together a year ago to do an event but we were not able to complete this event because of COVID. And now we're here a year later, here in this amazing house, it's called the Big House, but we're gonna be doing a fashion show here today, some fashion segments from these students that created products from him. So we're really, really excited about this and we hope you're gonna enjoy it as well. As a creative, um, designing in a sustainable way to me means using all of your resources, everything that you have, and using things that don't create a lasting negative impact on the environment. So I would love to see less waste and more reusable fabrics, garments, and shipping methods, things like that. So we've slowly started to see change and I would love to see more of that. But reducing your footprint is definitely something that means living sustainable to me. I think that living sustainably is something that's becoming more and more popular. And I think that the more people care about what sustainability is, um, the more we can implement it into our everyday life. And I think it's really important. I also wanted to learn a lot more about sustainability in regards to fashion and how I can implement that into parts of my career and my life. Anytime I've created, it's always been really important to me to take in what other creatives are saying and how they might look at something um, and not just look at things through my own point of view. And that's been my biggest takeaway from this project and I think it's definitely been important. It's never too late to start caring about sustainability and it's never too late to learn about sustainability. Um, I think that a lot of times people get overwhelmed with all of the information that comes with sustainability and that it's too much and I can't do it, but imperfect is better than not trying at all. Doing this collaboration with the Hemp and Fashion Club has been amazing. I feel like it's been a really good influence for me how I was talking about how I need influence. They're both really amazing, strong groups. I like to, to, I guess, use people in my everyday life as my muses. It's one of the first that I'm actually proud of. Designing during this time has been a little bit of a internal battle. Resources have been difficult to get, so it makes you, again, have to be a little bit more resourceful. It kind of helps me with being more cost efficient. It just makes you think out of the box. <laughs>
collection, the feel of it, it's more about, again, being relaxed. Summer, I know that I wanted to use uh, pastel colors, specifically yellow. I, I mean, I'm obsessed with yellow. It turned out to be more like um, Hello Kitty realness because I'm using different colors. Using hemp, it was different, but I really love the texture. When I think of hemp, I think of relaxed summer, uh, which is what I focus on my four looks. It's pretty much a culture. It's not just about clothing. It's a whole lifestyle. It's pretty much being responsible and ethical to ourselves and the environment. And I think it's the future. It was really refreshing to learn, to hear the points of view, the experience of everybody else. Um, it was very important uh, for the design process um, and the final product. <laughs> I didn't realize growing up that sustainability was always around my life. My parents used to own a thrift store growing up. Realizing how really damaging the fashion industry can be, that it made me realize that, hey, something that I grew up with and it's more than just, you know, thrift stores. There's like hemp fabric, there is reconstruction and it's it was such a big world that I didn't realize and it was very intriguing to me. Seeing how you can use this like very beautiful plant such as hemp and how you can use it to make like many, many things and to be able to include that into something like fashion, like I go to school for fashion. So it was just like, let me figure out what like hemp fabric really is and let me work on it. And it was a really cool experience. I have like multiple different lineage in El Salvador in Guatemala, which I didn't know about. So to be able to go ahead and discover it in and find like all of these different patterns and these stripes and these like beautiful colors and what it does to like skin tones. It's just like I was able to go ahead and explore both worlds. It was exactly what it is. It's like two worlds into one and that's really cool. Just to be able to make sure I leave a last of an impact all around and actually put in a good impact, like be able to influence someone to, you know, reconstruct something or just create something from what you have rather than just trying to buy something new all the time. It's something I really always put a thought into it. What I liked about incorporating hemp fabric um, from hemp traders into my designs was simply just knowing how to sew it. Um, I had so many complications with the, the sewing machine and the needle and just again, it's the research behind the entire design and the fabric that really intrigues me about being a part of this show. Collaborations are just simply learning, it's, it's evolving each other, it's, it's helping each other learn something or get to the next level. I love collaborations. I study Japanese designers and their designs. Um, so I just like to bring a lot of streetwear with casual wear and make it like a cohesive and make it like work. It's more of a sense of saving the environment, um, putting together fabrics that really do, do not work, but making it fashion statement. Um, I would even be an advocate for it. I would love to promote it. Um, I would even love to put on a, a production fashion show where people can actually come out and um, see this stuff in person. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm all about sustainability um, with fashion. When they told me about the club, I was already hooked. And the fact that it's a group of creatives, you know, talking about sustainability, it just kind of fit. I've never used hemp before in this project, and I love the textures. I didn't know that you could get like a denim grade of hemp. And just seeing all the different forms of hemp it opened my eyes to the possibilities of fashion. It's such a good material that you can make almost anything with. So using it in the fashion industry right now, I think is just a beautiful wave. The more people that you could get involved, the better. Having organizations come together, a lot of times it brings out beauty, it brings out different ideas. I was able to you know, create beautiful pieces using hemp, using already, you know, created materials and just create something beautiful. I got into sewing to make dog clothes that fit better. My concept is one of sustainable rescue, and Leonard is a rescue dog uh, that I started fostering and I ended up adopting him. So my goal is to make clothing like this kind of thunder, sh well, sort of a compression shirt type of thing that helps with anxiety and also, you know, more technical garments. So you take the dog for a walk, you put some pockets on there. Why would somebody want to buy garments for me is because I would like to combine that with a permanent facility for dog fostering. This garment that I made for Leonard got seams that are based on regular denim seams that you would see on a pair of jeans. A hemp as a textile is very durable. It has a cooling effect. Durability is better than regular cotton. Pets are part of the family. You know, I think that it'd be great to support rescue through manufacturing dog gear. That, I think, was my original goal. It's kind of grandiose, but I have a concept that I hope will get some support. You know, the idea is to make beautiful clothes that feel good and draw attention. I've worked in hemp before. As a matter of fact, I think I might have bought some fabric from uh, hemp traders in the 90s. For years, I was waiting for somebody to produce more hemp in a larger variety. And this show gives me an opportunity to promote my style with using hemp fabric. One of the things I like about trade tech and the program, you get to collaborate with people. You get to bounce off other people. I have a logo. And my logo says, except for God, I fear none. And I put that on everything. I want people to put my clothes on and feel power. A 
One of our goals as the Industrial Hemp Alliance is to merge the world of hemp and entrepreneurship. So we want designers and other professionals at Trade Tech to mesh the two together. To use hemp, it's the same as choosing other materials. There are so many blends of hemp and you can now get it down to like a very soft and like t-shirt like material. And it's difficult to keep up with all of the production of cotton, just to name one of the materials that is used. And it's also one of the ones that uses like the heavy amount of pesticides so to me that's not sustainable for our waters for our soils because one way or another it circles back to us i truly believe that hemp can bring immense change to our world more sustainable practices you know we do use a lot of cotton so how do we start caring about our environment and what we wear and what we put on ourselves we just want to see how cannabis and how hemp could be incorporated into each pathway and one of our first one was our fashion show there's many things we could do for our planet for our health for our well-being and for our atmosphere educate yourself about hemp and how we could just save our planet by just using it and incorporate it into all of our pathways that we have at trade Tech. So what I want people to take away from this experience is pretty much to see the possibilities and all the benefits of hemp and hemp textiles. This is pretty much all sourced from hemp traders and it's a big company here that imports and exports raw and textile materials. I actually work for the company so if you want to start using more sustainable materials you're going to purchase hemp, you're not going to purchase cotton. And so we need people to actually start transitioning into hemp materials because hemp is what's gonna save the world. Whatever the priority of the community is, is what it becomes. But the store really started, um, I think I have, I purchased a home about 16 years ago. I just started my agency, I have 10 rooms I use this space now as as an as a incubator, you know, affordable housing to uh, a hub for community members to meet. But sometimes people just need access. If you're not asking me for money, or you say, hey, where can I use this space? And then you create something, you build something on that. And that's the magic, right? It's like, just give me space and everyone benefits from it, right? So through the years, it's been what you make it, what you make it. What do you want to do here? You want to have a fashion show with him? Let's do it. Is, it. is it gonna benefit the community? Yeah. Because I've always told this place is like a place where you could imagine ideas, have ideas, and just have people to help you along the way to get there. That's the big housing thing. to thank everyone for participating in this fashion show we have been working really hard for it and you guys have been working really hard for it especially the designers i want to thank professor walker for putting his time and effort into actually getting the students together and having them participate and doing zoom call meetings like every other week What I want you to have as a takeaway from this show is that it's more than just a fashion show. It is a group of students that have actually come together through Zoom, mind you, to communicate, to do their designs, to find the resources to actually make their collection, and they were able to do that and have been able to do that. I want all of us to know and understand that, you know, whatever you want to do, as long as you have the passion for it, as long as you have the desire to complete it, it will get done. And that's what these students have done, you know, individually and also collectively.